everyone. How are all of you this evening? Uh, go ahead and tell me where you're from in the comments below. Uh, just post in the comments below where you are from and if you can hear me clearly, that's always, that's always nice to know if, if people can actually hear me. Uh, five o'clock, let's see, I'm going on at five. Five is the absolute worst time to go live because everybody's in traffic, but you know, um, maybe some of you can, oh, there you are, it cut out. So I'm going to wait for a few more of you to come on. I often wonder if these, um, work, if these are on properly. I just had one go live and then it cut out, so that was kind of awkward. So I'm just gonna wait until I see like a heart across the screen to, to be sure that you can hear me and all of that good jazz. There's Lewis, he came to join in the fun here. Going live at the absolute worst time of night, we can go live during five o'clock traffic, but hey, that's okay. Um, so just post in the comment sections where you're tuning in from, and um, yay! Okay. And let's see here. And um, we'll get started. So you guys, I I want to talk about something that I kind of came to discover over the past few months, but I really, really honed in on it today. And, you know, I guess the analogy I'm going to give you is probably, you know, it's an analogy from my life, but I think it'll really help all of you kind of put two to two and two together in your own life. And whether you apply this to health, whether you apply it to love, whether you apply it to um, relationships with your children, whether you apply it to your business practices, it's definitely something that can help each and every one of you, for sure. So what had happened was, you know, I was thinking about something I had invested in. And I had invested a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of heart and soul. Hey, Jeffrey. Hey, how are you? Say hi to a few of you. Hi, Kevin. How are you? So I had invested a lot of kind of time, effort, heart, soul into this. I'll be happy if even like 10 people show up because it's 5 o'clock um, on a Wednesday, which is the, the worst time you can go live, but that's okay. And, you know... I had invested all this time, I had invested all this effort, I had invested, you know, a lot of heart into something, and it didn't really pan out like I wanted it to. And for a long time, I really stayed stuck. I stayed stuck, wondering why, where did I go wrong, what did I do wrong, what did I, you know, what, is it going to come into fruition, is it, you know, was this all a waste of time? And, and this was in my personal life. And I thought back to a time where I launched uh, my very first program, The Digital Detox. And when I launched it, nothing happened. I think I sold like five um, right away or like 10 right away. And then now the Digital Detox, you know, I can sell 10 in a day or I can sell, you know, 10 or 15 in a week. But this is five years later. So what I'm trying to say here is sometimes when we invest in something, whether it's into our children, into our business, into a relationship, into our health, you know, maybe we're, we're starting to eat better, we're starting to uh, work out more. We're starting to do yoga, but we're not seeing any results. Sometimes things take a little time. Sometimes they take a little time to come in to fruition. Sometimes they take a little time to turn out. Sometimes they take a little time 
to yield a positive return. And sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's just like, well, you know, we're just kind of SOL on that. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. But where we run into problems, excuse me. That's water, folks. That's not a bottle of um, Jack or wine or whatever. Uh, where we run into problems is when we stay stuck, right? When we stay stuck on something. Maybe we stay stuck waiting for someone in a relationship to make a decision on whether they want to, you know, be with us or not. You, you see this a lot where um, a good example is, you know, a, a man and a woman, they'll, they'll get married, they'll have three kids, and, and then, you know, late 40s, early 50s, they'll get a divorce. And the woman always finds someone and gets married, like, right away. Like, within six months, she's, you know, on to the next. And then men go through this period of time of it's almost like um, almost a breakdown where they just kind of date a lot and everything because they're, they're so pissed off that they invested so much time, money, energy with this one woman. And she leaves them in the dust, Right? Or you'll see it, um, you know, and vice versa, women. But usually women are the ones to, to, to move on quickly, sometimes men. You see this a lot in business where someone will have a fantastic idea, fantastic idea, epic idea, like wish I would have had that idea, right? Should have, would have, could have. And they'll invest all their eggs into this basket. They'll quit their job. They'll move to a different city. They'll hire an entire staff, and um, the business doesn't plan out. Maybe the timing's off. That is Lewis eating right here, you guys. I just want to kind of pan down. That's Lewis. He's eating his bone all over my jeans. There's slobber all over my jeans. You know, that's, um, you know, with, in business that happens. Oh, hit, hit something there. In business that happens quite often, right? So I told you the story about the digital detox where it didn't make me any money and then now it makes me, especially during the holidays, it's like just boom, 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 boom. Same thing with the retreats. I started out, started out with a bang, then I had like a period of a year with like nothing and now it's boom, boom, boom. So in health, it's really interesting. Um, you know, health is the one thing it's the one area in our life that almost always yields a return. Almost always. Hang on one sec. Hang on one sec. Sorry. Sorry, my dog was about to go crazy. Roger was, you know, don't growl at Roger. So, um, you know, health is the one area that always yields a positive return. If you put the effort and energy into your health, if you put the effort and energy into juicing every morning, if you put the effort and energy into taking a 20 minute walk on the beach every morning, if you put the effort and energy into going to your yoga practice religiously, meditating religiously, health is the one thing that the body always responds to and you get a return on your investment, right? It's the only thing. It's the only thing. You know, when we invest in people, they know, right? It's kind of we're weighing it up. Hey, Stelios. When we invest in our children, you know, who knows? They might hit it, they may not, right? When uh, they might love us when they get older, they might not. They may only love us when we give them money, right? When we invest in business, may hit it, may not, right? But we invest in our health, when we invest in our health, when we truly, truly, truly invest in our health, 
That's the one thing that always yields a return. If you don't go to the gym, you're not going to, you know, build a lot of muscle unless you're out there lifting things in your garage, etc. If you uh, don't get up and drink some lemon water in the morning, you're not going to have the best skin. It's not going to flush your system out like it should. You know, there's, there's things that we do in life that really yield a return on our investment. And the number one thing is investing in your health, right? So on that note, uh, I'd like for you to all do me a favor. Of course, sharing is caring. So feel free to share this video um, in whatever way it applies to you. There's a share button and um, toss me a heart, a thumbs up. I hope everyone can, can hear this clearly. I, I always wonder. And, you know, really think about as we go into 2018, what you're investing in. You know, um, are you investing in your health? Are you getting that gym membership? Are you, um, are you uh, drinking your juice? Are you hiring a health coach like myself? Are you starting 2017 off with a bang by doing a retreat like my detox retreat? Are you supplying your body with the proper types of nutrients? Think about that. And in your relationships, think about the person you're investing in right? It's a big one. Big one. Are you getting a return on that investment? Are they responsive to your love? Are they compassionate towards others and towards you? Are they giving? Is it an equal give and take? Are they loving? Are they kind? Are they stable? Are they balanced? Do they balance you? Or do they bring you down or way up? Or is it up and down and just crazy? What a moment. Roger. 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 Get down. Roger, get down. There, he gets right back up. I think we better cut it off there because Roger, Roger's about to kind of do his thing where he barks at everyone who's walking their uh, dogs before dinner. So um, think about where you're investing your time, your hard-earned money, and your energy. Because, you know, life is really short, folks. We get one go around. And I think we all come back. I think we all come back. We do, definitely. But the way we spend our time is important. I, had a, I learned a really huge, <clears throat> excuse me, wow, huge lesson over the past year. Huge lesson. And I was really beating myself up uh, June, July, August, September, October for wasting time. Really beating myself up. Like, God, what am I doing? Wasting time. And one of my girlfriends said something to me. And it just hit me in the face like a ton of bricks. She said, you know, Andrea, you'll never get that time back. It's like, God, you're right. And it made me make a choice to make a huge change, a huge shift in my life. And for, I would say, only the past month, I have had such complete and utter peace because of that change. Complete and utter peace for the first time in really a long time. And obviously, I invest in my health, and uh, I mean, you may think I don't, but you know, um, obviously, I invest in myself. Obviously, I invest in my dogs who give me a huge return of love and unconditional love. Obviously, I um, invest in my family since they still let me come around. Uh, 
obviously I invest in my business since that's going well. Um, and I've always invested in my relationships. But a lot of times I don't get that investment back. So that has caused me to make a shift um, over the past six months. And going into 2018, I feel really happy that I've made this shift. So I just want to end this by saying, you know, I hope you guys all really take a closer look at where you're investing at. Um, especially over the, the next week, we have a new moon on the 18th. We've been in Scorpio season. Wow, that's intense, right? And so this new moon is really going to solidify everything that we've kind of swept under the rug. Where if there's any un, you know, undecided aspects in our life or in, indecisiveness we're dealing with, that's going to be cut and dry. So uh, decision time, right? Have a beautiful night, everyone. Drink your green juice tomorrow. I, uh, tomorrow morning, tonight, whenever. I'm Andrea Cox, andreacox.com. Sign up for my newsletter. It is free on social media, Twitter, Raw Chef Andrea, on Instagram, Raw Chef Andrea. On Snapchat, I just apologize now for every F-bomb I drop on Snapchat. Andrea Lee, L-E-I-G-H, Cox, on Snapchat. And uh, let's see, oh, YouTube. We are over three million views, and I love that. That makes me happy. Uh, Andrea Cox TV. Got to go. Be well. <laughs>